Today we're going to talk about a unique strategy on how you could use the TeamUp platform as a room reservation system. This would be beneficial for a large organization with too many end users to create individual calendars or user accounts for. Say a real estate company that has hundreds of agents that need to reserve space within their offices. It would be inconvenient to create a new calendar or user account for each agent as they tend to change companies frequently which would significantly increase administrative duties. To overcome this complexity, you could repurpose the About box and use it to house team up links that will act as your room reservation system. This would also enable everyone in the organization to view the status of reservable spaces as well as office events in one central location. This also eliminates the need for reception to make reservations, freeing them up for other tasks. In this example, anybody that has access to your office calendar will see this reservable room drop down box here. And for our example, we've set up two different office locations. If we click on the Ashburn rooms, this will bring up a new calendar view that now displays the office events, which you can see they do not have access to edit, and reservable room events are now visible. This method would also give you one central location to house your calendar and your room reservation system, eliminating the need for multiple pages or links to distribute to your users. We'll go over two different ways on how you can customize the permissions of these links. To briefly go over how this would be set up on the TeamUp platform, we'll go to our settings and then share tab. And what we've done here is we've created two custom links one for the Ashburn rooms and one for the Leesburg rooms. Going over their permissions, these links have been set up to not allow overlapping, which will eliminate double booking. And they have read-only rights for the two offices, as these events would be updated by the calendar admin, but they will have access to modify and add events for the reservable spaces. One thing to keep in mind when using the modify links is that anyone can edit an existing event meaning anyone can go in and make changes to a reservation without leaving a trace of who did it. While TeamUp does have user accounts that enable you to track these type of edits, in this scenario, when you have hundreds of end users and making an account for each one just isn't going to work, you could set up an add-only access. And with this, now users can add events, but no longer have access to edit already existing events. This would alleviate other users from being able to edit already created events. One disadvantage to keep in mind would be that once the link has locked, the user will no longer be able to change or delete their reservation. A calendar admin would need to do that. Just something to keep in mind when deciding if you would like to use the add only or modify permission. One last thing to keep in mind is that the about box is not available on mobile yet. I hope this gave you some inspiration on how to better use the TeamUp platform. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know. Thank you for joining.